Today I'm going to talk about Scarlet Witch, who is also known as Wanda, and her major ethical dilemmas that she encounters in Avengers Infinity War. Many regard her to be the strongest character because of her power, and that is she's able to move objects and seems to be the only person in the end that encounters Thanos and is able to push him away from her and Vision for a good amount of time so that um, she's able to actually destroy the stone, um, the mind stone that Vision has. Scarlet Witch is able to do this while Thanos is killing many other characters um, with the other stones and here um, shows how she with both hands is able to destroy the stone and push Thanos away for a significant amount of times so that she can destroy the stone and he won't have um, the stone. I will talk later about the ending of the story in Wanda's part, but these are all the stones that a person can take control of. And if Thanos did, he was going to kill half the people in society. So she knew that um, she needed to be really protective of Vision's Mind Stone because then if he got a hold of it, it would be bad news in society. So she knew this. But as I thought about major events, the first would be Scarlet in Scarlet Witch and Vision at the beginning of the movie. And they're in a relationship um, and they decide they want to leave and experience humanity and love. The other Avengers are looking for Vision and Scarlet Witch since Vision should be hiding the Stark Lab because of the Mind Stone. Vision and Scarlet Witch wanted to be able to enjoy their relationship, be together, but could not because they realized there was a New York battle and they were coming to actually take the stone from Vision. And this scene particularly portrays um, Scarlet Witch as using virtue ethics. As Scarlet Witch is protected with Vision because she loves him and of this stone, um, she continues to fight and protect him until other people come and eventually help Scarlet Witch. In terms of excess and deficiency and how that works with virtue ethics, um, the excess of this would be Scarlet Witch go- getting hurt or like dying in order to protect Vision, and the opposite of that would be Scarlet Witch fighting only for her own life and not really thinking about um, vision and leaving him on him own to just kind of die out in the end and, and the stone be actually taken away. But as the movie progresses, Vision and Scarlet Witch end up in Wakanda because someone is able to remove the Mind Stone and do it in a way where he's still alive. But when she realizes that taking out the Mind Stone is taking a lot longer than expected, she decides that she needs to actually get out and help all she can because from this scene you can see that it's very um, violent and she needs the help. When there are these big massive wheels that are destroying everything, Scarlet Witch is able to stop them and again shows her power. Once the other side sees this and realizes that she is out there helping, they find her and there's a huge battle between um, the women on her side and um, another person on Thanos' side and this shows her true value of protective and it shows consequence-based ethics. Scarlet Witch knows that she needed to protect Vision and needed to stay there, but in the end she knows that all of her friends and all of her allies are at risk and if Thanos gets a hold of the stone half the people will be dead so she has to think about the consequences and how that this is going to affect affect everyone so she's actually able to move and um, defeat the enemies but it comes to the end where um, Thanos has defeated most everyone except her um, she used she, throughout the whole film, Vision tells Scarlet Witch to destroy the stone and does not do so. She thinks about the consequences again of that, and she actually is contradicting the idea of the ethics of care. As ethics of care depicts a woman as caring, she was willing to destroy the relationship and focused on the impact of society if Thanos got a hold of the stone. In relation to other characters, Star-Lord or... Gamora was not actually going to be able to kill her sister because of the ethics of care model. If anyone were to think about the ending and killing a Vision, do you think that if Vision had been unconscious and not reassuring Scarlet Witch, would she actually have killed him? Killed him? I don't think she would. I think she would have followed the ex- ethics of care model. Um, she, it was very hard for her in the first place, and once she got reassurance, she knew she needed to do this. But as Scarlet Witch is shown as a strong woman who is fighting for herself and others, she takes many ethical models into consideration when making decisions. She wants the best for her envision and her strength, being actually able to keep Thanos away in the end with her power and able to see Vision alive again, portrays her as a very strong person and will be interested to see if her power will be used even more extensively in the next movie and for like an actual advantage.